Hello, good morning, positive kings and queens. This is another general reading from your girl, Monique. Um, I will be doing Virgo general reading. We're going to use my cards. Um, let's see what information that the universe would like for us to know today. Uh, some new information, universe. Give us some new information. I was getting all week that someone is worried about the connection. Is the connection going to reconnect or is it the end is what I was getting. So let's see what the card is going to let us know. Is there anything on that topic or is the card going to spin us another way? Let's see. All right, universe, give us some clear information. Clear information. Whatever you give us. We'll take. Oh. And if you're new to my channel, please hit a like and subscribe. Thank you. And thanks for all the people who come support this channel. Thank you. All right, you guys. What I got here is you don't have to be born beautiful to be wildly attractive. So um, someone is wildly attractive someone is beautiful within you know um not you could be um unattractive on the outside but you have a wow attraction within so this is what i'm getting you don't have to be born beautiful to be wildly attractive so even if you're ugly you're still attractive Somebody is Mr. Potato Head. When you see the Mr. Potato Head card, Mr. Potato Head, I put the initials. This means somebody is just sitting in your house, watching your TV, watching your cable, eating your food. Um, this person don't sweep, this person don't mop your house, this person don't dust your house, this person ain't bringing in no pinnacles. All they do is sit on your couch. This is a Mr. Potato Head. Someone needs to take action. Either you, Virgo, need to take action or someone you're dealing with need to start stepping their game up and start taking action. Um, either they need to put in more work into the relationship because with the Mr. Potato Head, it's letting me know you got a, a, a somebody that just lounge on your couch all day. Love like there's no tomorrow. And if tomorrow comes, love again. So the universe is saying, don't stop loving. If this connection that you end don't work out, love again. Start over with someone else. Give somebody else a chance. Be with somebody that really like you. You know, sometimes we will be with the person that we chase, but be with somebody that want to chase you. Hoping, expecting, faith, manifesting. So someone is hoping and expecting faith and manifesting. When you manifest, you go into the corner and you pray. Manifestation is praying. It's praying to the gods and letting them know the things that you would like to happen in your life. You manifest in these things to happen. If you want a new house, if you want a new man. If you want more children, these are things people manifest into their life. You want more money, you manifest this. You know, you want a better man, not a Mr. Potato Head. You want somebody that take action. You want somebody that's always going to love you. Somebody that's wildly attractive to you. And have faith that everything will work itself out. A marriage without friendship is like a bird without wings. So... Basically, the universe is saying, if your marriage don't have no wings, it ain't going to fly off nowhere. It ain't going to go nowhere. You're going to be stuck in a situation and the situation ain't going anywhere. You don't want to marry somebody that's not your friend. This person that you marry, you have to be able to communicate on every level. And sometimes, you know, we all don't agree with our soulmate all the time. We all have our own individual life and how we see and view the world as well. 
but this is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is a relationship can't go nowhere without wings. Meaning if you in this relationship and you feel stuck, stagnation is what I'm getting. Feeling like this ain't going to go anywhere. You know, it won't. It won't. It'll be it'll be like a, a, a bird with no wings. It's not going anywhere. So to correct that, build a friendship, build uh, a connection with your soulmate. My kids always fighting. I need a break. So whoever watching is you have either two, three children and your children constantly fighting with each other and you feel like you need to take a break. Um, call them fathers up. It's summertime. Most of the kids should be spending summer with their father if they don't live in a um, household. Um, send them kids to camp, day camp. And school should be starting back in August. I know mine's go back in August, so. No broke niggas. I'm tired of broke niggas. You're tired of people who coming around always need your help. But when you need help, they don't have nothing to provide because they don't have nothing for themselves. So when you're dealing with a broke dude who comes into your household, eat up all your children's food, sit on your couch all day, um, not taking any action, not trying to find a job, um, not trying to help themselves. The kids always fighting. Um, it's a lot of drama going on. You got the kids fighting. You got a Mr. Potato Head that's sitting on your couch. A broke nigga. And somebody hoping and manifesting something different for themselves. I am built from every mistake I have ever made. So every mistake that you made, you learn from it. It was a lesson learned from you. It, it made you stronger. It built you into the person you are now. This friend ain't supporting you publicly because of how they have spoken of you privately. Of course, when people speak negative about you, of course they're not going to support you in public. You know how many people that I supported their business, supported their um, gatherings, supported, um, you know, just events, period. And in the same process, I never got that same um, that same energy in return, which it don't bother me because like I always tell people, the people that's in your circle, if they don't support you on your dreams or the things that you got going on, they are envious and jealous because they wish it was them. And being that it's not them, they can't see you winning. So they're not going to participate in your wins. But see how good the most high is? He'll bring strangers around you. See, they'll have all the friends that they claim love them and, and live in a great life. But see, God going to make you live a great life as well. You understand? Those you don't need friends. He'll bring strangers in your life that will be your friends, that will be your family. You two, strangers, friends, family. All right. So they don't gotta support you publicly. Cause God gonna make a way anyway. He gonna send strangers to help lift your business, your company, whatever you got going on. Strangers will change your life. True love would change your last name. Yes. Why? Because if this person really love you and, and and say all this romantic, loving, caring things to you, he's willing to change your last name. But if he a Mr. Potato Head, he's not taking no action. Uh, this marriage ain't going to go nowhere because you guys' friendship or relationship is not where it needs to be. Your kids constantly fighting. Um... This person is broke. And somebody could have lost their faith. Expect them faith. Um, probably manifest them faith. <laughs> you know? When I am with you, I feel perfect and powerful. So this person feels perfect when they with you. They feel powerful. Why? Because they ain't got to pay no rent. They ain't got to pay no light. They ain't got to pay no gas. They ain't got to pay no car note. They ain't got to pay no life insurance. They ain't got to pay shit. They ain't got to pay nothing. So, of course, when I'm with you, I feel perfect and powerful. Or it could be you feeling perfect and powerful when you're with this person that ain't doing nothing for you, that's broke, that's not taking no action. I, 
I'm tired of getting my hopes up for things that I know will never happen. So somebody getting their hopes up high for something that they know won't happen. You know this man ain't going to get off your couch. You know Mr. Potato Head ain't trying to take no action. You know Mr. Potato Head watches your kids fight. Don't participate. Don't try to break it up. Don't try to stop them. You know Potato Head going to love you tomorrow and love you today. Why? Because you do everything for this person. This person is a broke nigga. This is a reading for somebody who do everything for their man. Money will bring you the girl slash man you want, but struggle will give you the man slash woman you need. Marry the person who cannot live without you. My heart is hurting when we are apart. Why can't we work this out? Someone is crying. Okay, it's coming out. Someone is crying. This person, I was getting that somebody could not sleep. Somebody is afraid to reach out to you. Not this potato head person that's already occupying your couch. My heart is hurting when we are apart. Why can't we work this out? Mr. Potato head is hurting or this is somebody different. Mr. Potato Head feel like he's on top of the world. He getting everything he want, but somebody is hurting and crying, missing you. This person love your body, love your big ass. This person is infatuated with your ass, your body, and they missing you. This person cannot sleep. We the fifth house is on out. The fifth house where you burst out onto the scene so in your full glory natural blooming of your character house of the sun and leo so the fifth house let me know someone is going to be going to a gathering and you're going to be looking fabulous you're going to be looking sexy attractive um you're going to be blooming the card says Pleasure and what we desire in another person lives. We're sex. So you possibly could be having sex, Virgo, with a Leo. Or you could be going to meet up with some Leos on the scene in your full glory, natural blooming of your character. So you come in natural blooming. Looking pretty, looking like yourself. Anyone can have a child and call themselves a parent. A real parent is someone who puts that child above their own selfish needs and wants. That is true. That is true. Your child comes first when it comes to your selfish needs and wants. Fake friends are like shadow. They follow you in the sun but leave you in the dark. Candy liquor. Somebody going to be getting some head. Somebody want to eat the crop. You're going to be famous before you die. Whoever's watching, you're going to be famous before you die. I don't know if it's a singer, somebody into the music industry, a writer. Somebody that right is going to be famous before they die is what I'm getting. Thinking of a way to communicate. So not only do this person miss you, can't sleep, can't stop thinking about you, love your big ass, they they trying to figure out how they're going to reach out, how they're going to communicate, what they're going to do. Um, probably they hoping to run into you. If you were burned, oh, you see, it's a, a you. I thought that was a you, but it's a O, oh, born. If you were born with the weakness to fall, you were born with the scrimp to rise. I heard it you. Please forgive me. Sorry. So somebody said they heard it you. And they sorry for what they did. First house is on board. Wow. We got the fifth house and the first house. A person of earthly pleasure. In search for love. 
and satisfaction. So a Taurus could be coming into your energy or we could be talking to a Taurus, but um, an earthly person is going to be coming into your life. Um, someone that's going to satisfy you could be a Taurus court. You could be going to court or somebody is facing court. You could be going in the full time. Misery, unveil, release of fear, unhappiness. The moon. The moon in reverse is like, listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worries. Let go of your fears. Relationship that will make everything clear. Deception. Difficult period. Fear. Hitting things. Insecurity. Mental confusion is the moon card. Major arcana, meaning most likely it will happen. Can we talk? I miss you. Virgo, you miss this person just as well as this person miss you. This person find your body to be sexy. They love your big ass. Um, and they feel like their heart is hurting since you guys have been apart. This person missed that ass. Karma says, mouths can lie, eyes cannot. People may forget, comma will not. I just wanna, I just wanna kiss you and hug and cuddle. So somebody wanna kiss on you, cuddle, lay up in the bed, feel on that big booty, rub your thighs, and give you a body massage. Might even pour some baby oil and give you a body massage. Massage your booty, massage your back. The we can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. People get really comfortable and they forget that they can be replaced in a minute. This person loves one night stands. That's true. This person loves one night stand. They could be thinking about relocating. So somebody that you're dealing with, Virgo, is sexually active. This person sleeps with um, multiple women. You could be a teacher or somebody is a teacher. Never argue with someone who believes their own lives. Don't even argue with them because this person is not going to change their lives to accommodate you. Still fucking my ex. Somebody still fucking a ex. I never thought anyone would ever make me smile, laugh, and catch in my heart as fast as you have. So... Whoever's fucking the ex, they are feeling this person strongly. You look good. I'm missing you, my love. Date night. They want to take you out on a date. Stay patient and trust your journey. Last card. Snakes are around. Snakes are around. Last card. So I'm getting this person definitely need to take some action. This person definitely need to reach out and stop being afraid. Get rid of those snakes that's around them. Stay patient and trust the journey. Um, definitely one of you guys is going on a date night. It could be this week. It could be today. But somebody is going on a date night. What is this? Dust? All right, let's see what the tarot have to say. Universe, what's going on? Date night, we got. Who's going on a date? Who's missing my Virgos? Who's missing my Virgos? Who's the lazy boyfriend that sits on the couch all damn day? Give us some information. I feel like I threw them cards. <laughs> let's see. Release endings that leads to a new beginning. The need to release situation or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. The chariot rewards that comes from hard work. Successful balance. Many priorities at once. 
determination and willpower, public recognition, an amazing opportunity, be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. The star card, have faith. The future is bright, dreams come true, positive change that brings an end to challenging times, the light at the end of the tunnel. Falling in love or resurgent of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. The two of swords, being able to unwilling to make a decision, follow your own heart rather than trying to make other people happy, pretending there is no problems, overanalyzing a situation. The high priestess, meditate and turn inward to discover your soul true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intu intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. Six of Swords, the end of challenging times. Things are looking up, a welcome relief. Find your way to a peaceful place. The end of the pressure or an illness. Travel, relocate. The Knight of Pentacles, loyal, dedicated, protective, this person is coming into your life before taking action, but they get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who's watching over you is going to reach out. Meaning everything that I'm speaking of, look within. It's intuitive. I'm just showing you how to be more intuitive, how to look within. You don't need no tarot reader. I'm just showing you how to look within. The answers is within. <clears throat> the wheel of fortune. A fresh new start. The end of delay. Sudden and unexpected progress. A very positive change in your life. You could be traveling or purchasing a new car. The ten of wands. Working too hard or too many hours. The need for balancing your life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. Too, much, too many burdens. Release those burdens. Drop them. The king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is someone um, that's compassionate, loving, caring, accomplished, grounded, um, successful, financially secure. Someone who touch others. Everything turned out beautifully in this king present. A supportive parent and a spouse, good spouse, a good person to work for. The moon card, listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry, let go of your fears. Revelation that will make everything clear. The end, I mean, ten of swords, the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. A weight off your shoulder. The end of an addiction. Four cups. Failing to recognize a magical opportunity. Missing the point. Your distraction of a daily life. Meaning something is distraction, distracting you on your daily routine. You discontentment. Or you could be bored. Lost in your own world. Wake up. Last card. Nine of swords. Unfolded fear. Expecting the worst. This creates self-fulfillment prophecies. Allow worries to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless night. Refocus your thoughts. All right. This is what I have. This is from the tarot world. Refocus your thoughts. I hope you guys got some messages from the tarot cards. And this is what we have. Let's see what my black cards have any information that you would like to give us today? Universe, give us some clear information. All right. Clear information. Somebody gossiping in a community. 
or somebody want to work with you. Somebody want to work with you, the star card, and a reversal. This is letting me know that someone is not being recognized in the community. Uh, people um, don't have, this person don't have a platform. They could be thinking about relocating to a different city. Um, could be thinking about um, starting a new business in a different city. No new beginning. A knight is of wands is coming in. So this knight of wands that's coming in, they romantic. Uh, they want they want something with you. This knight of wands, he want a relationship or something. Let's see. The knight of wands want a relationship. Knight of wands. Oh, ambition, energetic, and determined leader. Although there's challenges associated with this card, embracing them as something positive to come, even though the chances are unpredictable, believe in yourself and have courage is best. This is a yes card. So definitely hope I gave enough information, enough messages. If you guys listening to this reading, these are messages delivered from me and the divine and the most high whoever you worship all i know this message is for somebody okay have a great day and if you're new to my channel make sure you please hit a like and subscribe thank you